take this cover off, you can use a trim tool. Just get behind here. Just pop it out. It's two push pins. And there should be another one right there. Take this insulation off. Just slide it out. There's three nuts holding the mirror on. These ones, the two lower ones, are a little bit tricky to get to. You can use a 10 millimeter wrench. If you don't feel comfortable with this, you can pull the door panel off, but it's only for those two nuts. So you should be able to access it like this. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen these up. And do it by hand. It's always good to use a magnet just so you don't drop them once you start getting close. There we go, take those out. Now I'll take the top nut off with a 10 millimeter socket and just support the mirror from the outside. I grab the mirror. There is a clip retainer that's holding this on. So you just gotta use a little force. Pop that out. That's it right there. Take this insulation off. The new one already has one. Just peel that off. Take the new mirror and just slide it in position. It's a good idea to keep one of the nuts with you and get that one started on top. Now carefully take the other nuts and get those lined up. Get those started. You could always use the magnet to help you out. Just get it in the right area. And snug them up. and snug up the top one. Put the insulation back in. Take the cover, line it up, lock it down.